Hello you guys and welcome to the Look for Less Challenge for the month of January. This is the first one for the year 2020 and I'm so excited to be participating. So this challenge is hosted by Yami over at the Latina Next Door and this month's co-host is Natalie over at Design to the Nines. I will link both of their channels down below in the description box. You guys can check out their channels. They have, they do a lot of awesome DIYs. And also there is going to be a playlist for a bunch of different Look For Less Challenge videos. So if you guys ever need some inspiration, you can just head on over to that playlist and check out those videos. And if you guys are new to my channel and you are stopping by from this playlist, then I just wanna say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and stick around. And of course, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, because that definitely helps me. What this challenge is all about is finding something super high end and then recreating it for a heck of a lot less. So I found this farmhouse rustic window online and it retailed for $289. And I was like, that is nuts. So it is very beautiful, but I personally would never spend that much on home decor. So I got to thinking, I was like, what the heck could I, how could I make this for super, super inexpensive? So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and I looked for some items there. I thought about using their wood dowels there, but they just weren't big enough and I would need a lot of them. So my husband actually headed over to Home Depot and he got me a couple pieces of, it's actually not PVC, it is the, it's like the tiniest little thing, like it looks like PVC, but it's not. So he found me some of those and those I wanna say were around a dollar. And then he found me these wood dowels and they were 70 cents a piece. I could not believe it. They were cheaper than the dollar store and you get these long pieces. So I had everything pretty much done and then I couldn't figure out what I was gonna use for the inside rounded piece. So I thought outside of the box and I was like, what is about that size and what could I use that would be very inexpensive? And I decided I would use glow sticks. So I got a pack of these long glow sticks from Dollar Tree. It was a three pack for a dollar. I only needed the one, but it actually worked out perfect. So this video might jump around a little bit. I, I always say DIY is all about trial and error. And what I had in my head didn't exactly go as planned. I had tried a couple things and then once I got it finished, one of the one of the dowels was actually crooked and it just like threw off the whole thing. So you guys will see it in the end. It You can see it's a little crooked, it's not completely perfect. But then I did something else, I'll show you guys what I do at the end, to make it just, it looks a lot better. Plus it fits in the space that I wanted to have it, it fits a lot better. So, all right you guys, let's get into it. So these are the little wood dowels that I used that were 70 cents. I had four of these and I'm going to be showing you guys the exact measurements as well. I'll put them in the description box and I'll also tell you guys what they are. And then this is the little PEX pipe that I used. And then you're also gonna need these little furniture pads from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did was I measured out, this is the very top archway and I measured it out to be 34 and a half inches. And I'm just cutting it with these wire cutters. And then now I'm going to be taking the first wood dowel and I'm going to be cutting five inch pieces. So I already took a ruler and a marker and just marked five inches. And I'm, you're going to need six of these because they're going to be for the sides, um, like on the outer archway. So it'll make sense in a little, in a little bit. Now I'm laying out my archway and I want to figure out how long the bottom needs to be. So the very bottom wood dowel is going to be 26 and a half inches long. So now what I have done is I've just kind of laid everything out. I'm trying to get a measurement and see how long everything needs to be. So I took the one long dowel in the very center and then the two long ones on the side. And then what I'm going to do with the ones that go horizontal, I'm actually going to cut those to size, like to make them fit. And then those little ones on the side are going to be the five inch ones. So for the two side ones, those are going to be 36 inches long. And I'm just going to take those and hot glue them to the archway. And then I'm taking those little furniture pads and putting those right on top. Because if you look at the picture from the high end one, it looks like there's like little circles on each little like connector, like holding them together. And it's really going to help reinforce them. And then next, I'm just going to go ahead and attach that bottom piece. And like I said, that one is 26.5 inches long. And you're going to need 
two other ones of that size and then I'm actually going to end up cutting them in thirds because I'm going to glue them separately if that makes any sense. It's easier just to kind of connect them so you can add the little furniture pads rather than have like the dowels going on top of each other. Next I'm going to take my first little five inch stick and glue that right in the center of the top arch. And for every spot that you glue a little connector or a piece together, you're going to want to cover it with one of those little round furniture pads. Then I'm going to add a two more of the little five inch ones to the sides and then I'm going to go ahead and connect the glue stick to that. So now what I've done is I've taken my three of more of the wood dowels and I will say I forgot to mention I used a thicker one for the very outside so for the two sides and the bottom I used a little bit thicker of a wood dowel and then for the inner parts everywhere else I used the smaller ones so what I did was for the very center one I just took it um, I don't even know if I had to cut that one I might have had to cut it a little bit but um, I just kind of put those in to make them fit and just cut them to size and then glued them together. And now I'm just taking the little five inch pieces on the sides. So you just want to figure out like how you want your windows to look, like how um, much in between you want them to be. So I, this, I was just kind of going by how it looked and I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing those and I'll, then I'll start gluing the center too. So what I did was I just took the wood dowel and cut it to size like as I went. So I didn't have these cut prior, I just kind of went, did it as I went. Now that I have it all put together, I'm just taking it outside and spray painting it with uh, just a matte black spray paint. And then after I did both sides, I brought it in the house and I noticed I did miss a couple spots. So I just am taking some black um, acrylic paint with a little sponge brush and I'm just going to kind of touch up the, the spots that I missed. All right, now we are going to make the wreath. I could not find the cotton that was in the original picture, like the high-end one. I couldn't find that, but I did find these cute little white flowers from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to use this wreath and I'm just going to trim these all off. I'm going to push the leaves up so that they're close to the flowers and then I'm going to cut them with my wire cutters and then just glue them around the wreath. Now I'm just taking some thick twine that I have and I'm just going to tie it around the wreath and then tie it around the window. So this is what the window looked like when it was finished and I wasn't completely happy with it. If you guys can see the bottom right corner was a little crooked so I ended up cutting off the very bottom and just making it a little shorter. I feel like it fits a little better in the space and this is what it looks like now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you again to Yami and Natalie for hosting this month. I'm so excited this challenge is back and I can't wait to do more of these. So don't forget to subscribe you guys if you're new and we will see you all soon. Bye.